for me to find, then this means nobody has been able to enter this room since his death. What a mess. Letters about the day-to-day -day running of the estate. And this one. Your money won't protect you. Just bits and bobs. Bits and bobs, baby. I beg you to reconsider, Sir Edward. My family has lived on this land for many generations, and to be told we must leave our own home is too much to bear. Alice, my wife, whom you have met, is beside herself with grief. We have nowhere else to go. I beg you to look. Have them out by the end of them. The cool. signs are there. Deny them at your peril. The ancient evil that inhabits the Contact the constable. Neat. Father wouldn't have hidden his papers somewhere as obvious as a desk drawer. Whoever d Neat. Some sort of secret compartment. Father's handwriting. The chapel. The family chronicles. I may find okay. answers there. Looks like a note about the cipher in the shelf. The cipher in the shelf? What? A local girl goes missing. A concern. She's the third person to disappear in the re Cora is described as being four foot ten. Why all the fuss? She is nothing but oh, wow. If you can't keep your blabber mouth shut, don't This sounds as if Grandfather Edward was Oh. Okay. This looks interesting. Screw down tight. Okay, so this is just like the th cipher on the shelf. Oh, okay. Okay.
Hopefully it works so well. Oh, I see. So there are five, so you need the second, the fifth, and the first. Um, okay. Oh, which order were they in? Two, five, one. From the outer to the inner. Two is upside down Y. Come on. B. One is N. Nailed it. This console certainly has its secrets. Oh, I wonder what goes here. It looks very precise, accurate. There's a bit miss. Hold on. There. Wasn't freaky at all. What the hell? That's cool, I guess. Boy, did you see him? Where did he go? What did I tell you about disturbing me in my sleep? <laughs> Are you all right, sir? Good what work. happened? What happened, David? Uh, the boy. There was blood, and Eddie, he, he pushed him down. Who? Who do you think you saw? <sighs> Grandpa. Him. There are chapters. That's easy. I should make each episode a chapter. Oh, uh, pretend you didn't see that. Uh, uh, what did you just see, sir? It's all right. You're like your father. You can see them too, can't you? I've been babbling in my sleep since I was a child. It's nothing to worry about. Also, Poor girl is scared where is my awesome minutes. tie? Of course, sir. Sorry, sir. My father. What did he think he saw? It ain't my place to say, sir. But I... Go on. 
begging your pardon, sir. You should go. This place, it drove your father mad. Drove him? Did he say what or whom he saw? I'm sure I don't know, sir. <laughs> Let's not push her too hard. Okay. She's scared enough of me already. But sorry, I didn't get your name. It's Ailsa, sir. Ailsa Cranon. Ailsa. Oh, and Master Andrew asks if you would join him in the library. After breakfast, of course. Thank you, Miss Cranon. Oh, God. And why does it get a loading screen? You've done nothing. Okay. Get a hold of yourself, oh, David. What the fucking hell? Please don't be a game mechanic. Please don't be a game mechanic. Please. If that happens multiple times in this game. Oh no. Were these apparitions what drove my father from the castle when he was young? Were they what drew him back? He must have found must... something in the family chronicles. Let me wash my face and talk to myself. Nobody else saw the boy or the old man who looked like my grandfather Edward. But it. Fa oh my god. <laughs> Literally every wash. Okay. I don't remember ever seeing that boy. A faded memory, perhaps? Mm hmm. As far as I know, I'd never been to this castle before. Elsa knows more than she wants to tell me. Who's the boy? Find out what Elsa knows. <laughs> Aye, and once you're done in the kitchen, go and clean up the cellar. The spiders have made a nest down there, a big one, too. They're crawling everywhere. Uh, Master David! Nice of you to grace us with your presence. Thanks, Angus. I appreciate your patience. I've had the staff prepare some of the finest Scottish delicacies for you. Black pudding, haggis, scrambled eggs with deer brain, and bacon. Freaking great. Looks all looks just so good. Do I have to eat all the shit? This looks just great. I shot the deer. Mother was never a fan of dishes made from entry. Oh, great. That was delicious. Thank you. I'm sure our local spec. I was raised in India. My spectrum of peculiar. Smoking a pipe. Oh, hey, it's that very little old Just lady. How old is the Gordon? Oh, what up, Mama? Uh, lady Margaret. David. May I first apologize for my strange behavior last night? It's just that. Uh, think nothing of it. You are obviously tired from your travels. I don't want to give her another... Uh, this... I'd be surprised. Have I ever been here before? Oh, no. And I have a feeling you prefer... Get it? Uh, what kind... Oh, he was magnificent. 
He was handsome, so... Caring enough to knock a def... All was so very different. The maid. Yeah, and that maid should really keep her mouth she shut. Just really and incest. locate the earring she lost. She's like a magpie. I shall take my... Yes. Oh, and David. The master of the house needs to respect the privacy of those under his roof. Even your father understood that. Sometimes a cabinet is locked for a reason. Oh, wow. I was looking for some documents. I would still appreciate. That's fine, bitch. Take, take what? Out of the five? Margaret's lost earring. Not stolen after all. Contrary to everything I've learned so far about ground. The cold doesn't seem to affect the resin. Okay. Look, I found your earring, you, you dumb old lady. Uh, Lady Mo Yes. I could give it to her, and she'd still never tell me anything useful about my fuck. Oh. I shall take. Yes. Smart. So fuck you, lady. I have no idea where I am. I have no idea what I'm doing. Right, there's a girl. Uh, Miss Crannon? Isn't that used for transporting co- Ugh, the wee scanner thought it would be funny to put one of his dead beasties in it to fear me. Did you ever talk to my- I was, sir. Go on. I didn't think it'd be proper, sir. Lady Margaret's- She's as scared of Margaret. Um- I-, I Okay, fine. I Fuck noticed you. the attic door is... You'd best up. The mere mention of the attic. I think you may have lost this. Oh, sir! Oh, thank you, sir. I only wanted to see how it looked in the mirror. I didn't mean to. I was scared to tell her ladyship. Oh, she can have such a temper. What are you going to do now? Uh, if I can sneak it into the salon, maybe her ladyship will think she lost it there herself. From what Smart. I know about her, I very much doubt her ladyship will. What happened to my father here? <laughs> I'm sorry. She knows something. Would you like me to... Wouldn't be proper to ask the owner of the head... Well, I'm not the... Very... Happy to help. I'll let you know when I'm ready. I shall leave you to your work. I'm ready. Talking to me makes her very... Talking to... Come on, man. Talking to me makes her very nervous. Let's just go. Shall we?
Oh, she's quick on her feet. Harsh as it may seem, a proper serving of fire is the... Let's see. How cruel of Mr. McKinnon to send her down here alone. Okay. I can't. This is as close as I get. Otherwise, I'll have them crawling all over oh. me. Okay. Screw you. You literally have fire. What do we got? Raw spirit. Not particularly palatable. Ooh, a lot of blood for Come on. <sighs> Not the most hygienic workstation. Hmm, a hunting map. Looks like they've been poaching outside the Gordon estate. Oh, the bad people. Looks fresh. Uh, Master Eddie's work. Eddie. Step right up. Sir, what are you... D oh, my! Oh, that's amazing! Uh, does that not hurt? No, a little trick I learned in India. Elsa, I didn't think. Huh. It's Prince Harry. And you are? Edward Malory. You may call me Edward the Third. So this is Cousin Eddie. He seems. Welcome to my castle. As terrible as the rest of them, my castle That indeed. tie is so stupid. <laughs> Pleased to meet you, Eddie. So, your parents would be my aunt and uncle Clara and Victor. Are they... Dead. Dead as doornails, the pair of them. Lovely. You've lived here all your life, so you would have met my father. Only after he lost what marbles he had left. If it were up to me, I'd have locked him up in the loomy bin a bit sooner. Smart. Locked him up? So what are you doing down here anyway? There's a line between honesty and rudeness that Cousin Eddie doesn't seem to recognize. I was helping Miss Cranon. Oh, Why didn't you ask me? Excuse me, sir. Sirs. Leaving so soon? They all tend to act like that in the presence of nobility. <laughs> you said something. I did. Oh. Oh. You don't know. Well? Well, never you mind. I... I'm okay. getting very tired of everyone in this house. So I learned pretty much nothing. Neat. Uh, uh, there's something you should know, sir. Where did you? Something what important. The fucking hell? I overheard them talking, and I. Uh, you're paid to work. Uh, sorry, Mr. McKinnon. Classic Angus. Library after dinner. At last, I might get some answers. <laughs> Oh, what's in here? I can't. All right. Yeah. Okay.
A sign of modernity. A, a sign of modernity. So don't use. Oh, that's terrible. So that's a phone. What do we got? Okay. This will make it easier to carry. Oh, okay. The boy. It must be. But I need to be sure. Perhaps the names are on the back. What's this? Looks like it's drawn in blood. blood? What the hell? Oh, jeez. Regardless of what I told Miss Cranon, these visions are like... Um, but inventory... Here we go. My family. Yet they're all still strangers to me. Lady Margaret. She looks happy. I can't imagine a smiling like that these days. Great. <sighs> Grandfather Edward. Just as he looked last night. My family. Okay. We Yet they're got all it. still strangers to me. And the crazy music just stopped. I thought the door was right there. Oh, here we go. Old lady, tell me about the boy. Uh, Lady Margaret? Yes, David. I saw an old photograph. Something tells me she wouldn't be happy if she knew I had it in my pocket. Ah, that was taken in 1894. Young Johnny. 
your father. You can remember the exact year. It's a funny thing when you reach my age. You can remember dates from decades ago. What's on her left hand? But not what you had for breakfast. Maybe others can't. It's like a... What? It's floating. Uh, who, may I ask, were the others in the picture? That would be your Aunt Clara and your late great-grandmother, the what last the true is? Countess of Scarhandu House. And my dear Edward, of course. I uh, noticed my father had a scar in his face. How did that happen? <sighs> Falling from a tree, perhaps? I can't recall. But your father was a clumsy child. Can't recall. But... I shall take... Yes. Okay. That was not informative at all. Right, we didn't have dinner yet. David, apology. As the telephone in the castle is not working due to the recent storm, I have had to journey to... Upon my return, I shall show you to the chap... Or maybe I'll just head... It's working. Has it been repaired? Or did Andrew lie to me? Hmm. You can't go to the chapel? You can't leave this house? The kitchen, I guess, had a way to leave, too. Some fresh air. What is this music? What is his face? How many drugs am I on? Can I steal a car? Is this Grand Theft Auto London? Master Day. You could. Oh, it's Your footsteps. Well, that's. Aye, that it is, laddie. When you talked about what they... You shouldn't have come back. You cannot go through what he did as a bairn. So his... Ho Not for me to say. Before you think of putting down roots here, 
No. If you no. did the map, I'll. Can I still hear me? Fire that assembly tool, Bob. Okay. I cannot. That's a graveyard. Before. Who's buried here? If I could just. Ah, these vines are too thick. I have a choice I... to remove. I need something to cut through these. I don't care about that shit. I'm the owner. This is my graves. Um, maybe the graves. I would like to tidy them up. Is that of? They are my family. Uh. Smart. Cecilia Shaw Nee Gordon. Aunt Cecilia. Now, let's see if there's something really buried in here. Another piece of the castle model. What? Did you just... Another part of the model. And it's stained with what seems to be old blood. Sure. Why did Father bury this when he was a child? Well, let's go into the church. Maybe we'll find out something, or maybe we'll find out nothing. <laughs> Stupid. Okay. What do we get? Father, I hope you found your peace. Were you sick? What the hell? Whatever it is. My dad's ashes are just in a random. Oh my. What the fuck? Being the chronicle of the family Gordon. Local legend. As for the locals, they appear pr The Celtic peoples arrived in this place like a great beast, bringing with them the bloodlines that would eventually... Using their soup With them, they brought... It is said that the Sempiternal... It is oh, well recorded okay. how the Empire of Rome did fail to tame the wayward Scots. That they... What is seldom... Our ancestors... 
This aid did come. For the centuries, we Gordons made the land our own. Others did bow to us. Even as tragedy and madness did fester in us. In time, the Gord... Okay. What the hell? Some pages have been ripped out. In blood we are bound. To the land we protect. To the truths we are... I shall forfeit my life. Lest my clan should suffer, I shall forfeit my spirit to hold the darkness at bay. In blood we are bound till the day of the reckoning. Am I scared? Yes. No, not really. What? Touch? What am I touching? Is this what madness feels like? It can't be real. What? My thunder ward? Okay, I don't understand what's happening. Oh, what's this? All this looks like the bottom of a lake. What are you trying to show me? Are you all right? Oh God, I'm not all right. <laughs> he looks so stupid. What's he? What's he? Uh, did you, did you see her? She uh, drowned. Calm down. You are in shock. What were you doing clambering about in here? Whatever oh, oh, If I told you, 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 you'd think me mad. Aunt, that is just what your father said to me. Um. You knew my father. How? I treated your father at the asylum. I'm Dr. Leah Farber. The asylum? Let's get you back to the castle and make sure you're okay. That's cool. That's neat.
What did you come here for? Yeah, B. I'm not sure your father's story is finished yet. And there are some things I still need to make my peace with. Okay. What's this about an asylum? As I said, your father was admitted. Why? Who did that to him? I did. But, unfortunately, he managed to escape. What? Hold on a minute. How dare you come in here and... Told you? Your father was a madman. A complete and utter madman. Don't mind me. Please continue. <laughs> okay. Well, what right did you have to lock my father up in a, in a madhouse? I was his doctor. I understand you were in shock, but you have no right to speak to me in such a way. I was trying to help him. He's dead. Capital job. Now, hold on just a minute. Okay. Oh, 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 Jesus! Oh no! No! Oh, She missing half of her face? What? Oh, it's my girl, the maid. Ah, oh, she's in a pool of deer blood. Well, what's the shit? Chapter 2. Well, gents, ladies, whatever you identify as, that's Chapter 2 in the books. I'll see you for Chapter 3. Maybe, maybe tomorrow. Maybe sometime this week. Love ya.